What is up guys, BJ Dell back with an all new weekly art challenge review video. If you guys are new to the channel, stick around till the end, I'll tell you how you can possibly see one of your designs featured in one of these upcoming videos. But last week's word was Thanksgiving, so let's see what you guys came up with. All right guys, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. First things first though, I've gotta mention, Take a look right here. That's not a booger on my screen, I promise. I actually brought this up today in a video that I filmed for the Patreon backers, um, which reminds me too, if you guys like the channel, if you wanna help support the channel, wanna get more videos than are available on YouTube, Patreon exclusive videos, plus a chance to get monthly uh, rewards sent straight to your mailbox. I'll put the link for the Patreon channel below in the description, you can check that out. But yeah, not a booger. I actually had my iPad laying open on my couch last night. My cat jumped from the back of the couch down and her back claw caught the screen right there. So just shows you how important a screen protector is because if I hadn't had that on there, it would have dug into the screen pretty well, I think. So time to get a new screen protector, but let's jump into today's video. First up, we have Steve's submission for Thanksgiving, and I just love this. I love everything that Steve submits. It's just really great to see his work week in and week out. And this one, just a fantastic job once again. Uh, a thing really to kind of take away from this one, and Steve does this constantly with his work, is just how many characters he can squeeze into the design. This one, of course, we've got five at the table and then two down here. So you've got seven total characters. And a lot of times, if you try to squeeze in seven characters on one design, it's gonna look super crowded. It's gonna look super busy. Uh, so this is really key where composition comes in. And composition is a hard thing to teach in these videos just because, of course, it's gonna vary from design to design. Uh, so the, the key here is when you do a design, make sure that you kind of frame the characters, their position to where it doesn't look too busy. It doesn't look like there's too much chaos going on in the scene. And I think this is a perfect example of how you're able to do that. Like I said, in a lot of Steve's designs, he has multiple characters and it doesn't look too crazy or too chaotic. Uh, just reads really well. And this is really kind of a masterclass on seeing how to kind of frame a design when you have multiple characters in it. So thanks so much, Steve, for submitting that this week. Next up, and I know I'm going to butcher your name and I apologize, but Kasinja, Kasinja, I don't know, and I'm sorry, so I'm gonna apologize right now, but I absolutely love this turkey design as well. The pink here is just super great. Uh, you've got just that really believable kind of skin defeathered turkey, and I think the, the color choice is fantastic. I love the character design too, just the expression on the turkey's face and then the positioning too of just the turkey and the legs and everything else. I know that you put in the uh, Facebook post uh, something along the lines of hadn't got to you know add the fire in, I'm not sure how to do the fire, so no worries there. The one thing I would kind of pay attention to is the way that the logs are positioned down here. I like the logs as far as how they're drawn and having this heavier outline here and then the wood grain texture here, having a different line weight there, I think is really nice. But it kind of looks like everything's floating. So let me go ahead and let's do a new layer here. And I'm actually gonna duplicate this one. Let's turn this one off and then let's drop the opacity on this one. And then I'll kind of move it down here. Oops. Let's move it down out of the way a little bit. So like I said, everything, it looks like it's kind of floating. Um, obviously like this log here, this stick here would probably fall, you know, if it was actually positioned like that. So definitely when you do, you know, designs like this to kind of keep in mind you know, a sense of realism, even though it is a cartoon, you know, and kind of have the logs here, I would more so have them positioned a little bit different. Let me get to my brush here. So, you know, having the logs sitting like they're actually underneath the, the pan here, you can have some, you know, stacked up higher on top of other ones if you want to. 
uh, and just have them coming out in every direction. But actually having them set flat against the ground would make everything look a little bit more believable. Like I said, it just kind of looks like it's got this weird kind of floating thing going on right now. And it just looks like they're about to tumble at any time. So other than that, I think it's a really good design. Just kind of tells you to, you know, not focus totally on one aspect, just to kind of look at it as a whole piece to identify those parts that, you know, kind of need changed. And I think doing that would make it a stronger design. If you add the fire, if you don't add the fire, this could be like the, the precursor to the dinner starting before they start to cook him. So he's still kind of in this dazed and confused look. He doesn't really know what's going on yet. And then once that fire lights, then he could go into an even more panicked look. Uh, after that happened. So fantastic job seeing your work this week. So thanks so much. Next up is Don in this nice framed happy Thanksgiving design uh, with the the Indian and the pilgrim and then the turkey here. I like the stage and the steps going up here with the spotlight shining down on the turkey. Very well done. And I know too, it's so easy a lot of times if you've got two different characters like this on a left and a right to just almost make them mirror images. But I do like that you didn't go that route, that they are different to where, you know, this hand setting here on the, the side of the hip here. And then this hand sitting here, you can see that they're different hands. Same thing with the feet. You know, you did the moccasins here and the boots here. They've got different shapes to them. And even the way the hands here look, you know, it's not the exact character just flipped and just changed a little bit to go from the Native American to the Pilgrim. So I think really good design choice there. I really like the steps too, just from a kind of composition standpoint it draws the viewer's eye you know in this direction towards the turkey and the spotlight of course does that job as well and color wise i think everything is really good as as well too the one thing i would change here i think the lettering actually blends in a little bit too much with the colors i would probably go ahead and just make that white to kind of make it pop a little bit more. And I'm not sure if I can do this or not because the colors are so close. If it will let me fill in just that or if it's gonna fill in absolutely everything. Let's see here. If I go over here. I don't wanna get it too far. I'll just leave it there because that's close. Yep. And of course it went the rest of the way. Press again. And now I'm back too far. Hey, hey. All right. I don't want to go too far with it, but let's just, uh, that's close enough. There we go. So you can see it makes it pop a little bit more. Of course, you know, you still got this hanging in here, but since I don't have this set up on separate layers, obviously I've just got your base image that you post it on Facebook. Like I said, I think that makes it pop a little bit more. So just playing around with colors, making sure that, you know, certain colors don't blend into the other colors, I think is really key on bringing out some of these elements from the background and making them a little bit more prevalent in the design. So thanks so much for submitting that this week, Don. Next up is David. We've got two things that are basically, you know, synonymous with Thanksgiving is turkeys and football and a great combination between the two here. Uh, love, love the turkey design. Just really cute. I also am really digging the textures used throughout. The shading is really nice. And then you've also got this nice texture running throughout the feathers here, the, the helmet, the football itself. It just works really well. And then, of course, you've got this kind of depth of field blur in the background. So it definitely brings the turkey into the foreground, throws the, the field and the fans here in the crowd into the background. But the other thing on top of that too, is it's not just a basic blur since, let me do the brush here, darker color. Since you can see the, the whites from the crowd actually kind of follow this pattern. It has kind of motion to it too, because everything kind of radiates and comes out from that direction. So it's almost like a sun rays around. So once again, much like the steps with Don, uh, those going in towards the turkey draws the viewer's eyes to the turkey, but then also too, it gives that sense of motion like the turkey's running. So I think that is really well done and really cool. So thanks so much for submitting that this week, David. Next up is Peter and Peter's got the hippo chef 
uh, serving up the turkey. And I think this one is really cool. Color-wise, this one's fantastic. I like that it's kind of got a muted kind of feel to it, not super bright. Even the red here, you know, is a little bit more muted. Same thing with the lines, too. The lines aren't super thick. You just kind of have some thinner lines going around, and I think that works really well for the design. Everything has a very, just like I said, kind of muted natural feel to it, which I really like. And of course, having the, the hippo chef down here is kind of cool too. Uh, as far as colors here, I think maybe the purple down here on the chef is a little bit too close to the purple. It kind of blends in a little bit too much here. So maybe choosing a different color for this circle down here, this oval. Uh, and then I wasn't sure first looking at it, it looks like, let me pull up the correct layer here. The the foreshortening on the, the hand and the arm is a little bit off and I, I couldn't immediately tell what was going on. I had to kind of look at it for a little bit. So the one thing here you can see, let me uh, grab a new layer on top. You kind of have the the palm coming down and it's almost starting the foreshortening here to where I would have kept the palm just like a bigger portion up here. The palm really wouldn't have a lot of foreshortening on it. I would have worried more about kind of doing more foreshortening on the arm as it comes down. So maybe moving the hippo itself, get on the right layer here, moving the hippo itself further away like that and then having the arm kind of foreshorten more like this so you could actually kind of tell a little bit more what was going on. Like I said, at first it wasn't super apparent just because everything was too kind of scrunched together and the way that that palm was actually doing the foreshortening work, you should really have the arm be the, the longer part of that foreshortened section. So, but just a, a really good job. I love the design and love, like I said, the, the use of colors and the line work here. It's just a really, really strong entry. So thanks so much for submitting that, Peter. Enjoyed seeing your work this week. Next up is Deborah and Deborah's Thanksgiving Florida 1978 Polaroid picks. I think she said she chose 78 because that was the first year maybe she got a, a Polaroid. So that was a cool little anecdote to go along with the picture. And I just love this because, you know, just the goofiness of the, the turkey with, you know, kind of the, the girlfriend or the wife or what have you, or maybe somebody he just met at a bar down in Florida being the flamingo and the wig is just hilarious on there and the hair. So I love this. The other thing too that really kind of drew me into this is the stack of Polaroids. So with this, you kind of wonder, at least I did, like what what's underneath here? What are these other pictures? And I think this is a really cool chance to where we can talk about uh, kind of storytelling with your art and how you can use uh, different techniques to draw the viewer in and progress the story. And this one's fantastic. I could see this turning into uh, like a three panel or four panel comic strip and you wouldn't even need words or anything else. And you could just have, you know, three of these next to each other or even like I said the four and each panel would just be removing one of these pictures so the next panel you would see this picture stacked up on this picture and then the third and final panel you would see just the the background picture and and maybe this would be the final picture to tell the joke or maybe uh, you know this is the middle picture but it's just a really cool idea uh, to use something like this to tell a story and that's the the first thing that kind of dawned on me when I saw this so really Really, really good job, Deborah. Thanks so much for that. Next up is Christine and Christine's Turkey. I know she said she had used this before, but I just love this. Such a great design. Once again, I talk a lot uh, in these videos about kind of giving your characters or your designs dynamic motion. And this is, you know, a turkey that it's not posed. It's not doing any crazy cartoon action, you know, pose or anything like that, but it still has all this dynamic motion throughout the feathers and the way that these come down in towards the center like this. There's a lot of energy that this gives off and uh, just uh, Christine's techniques are just so fantastic. Just the neck here, there's so much going on here and it's so detailed and just so fantastic and the way that the colors change here on the head from that pink into this lighter kind of whitish gray color or off-white color is just absolutely fantastic. 
Uh, the way too that these feathers stack up differently than here and the technique that used uh, back here is different and the way that it just kind of builds up that texture and builds up just the overall kind of stacking quality of the feathers is just super well done and i'm just amazed every single time i see christine's work it's just so so good so thanks so much for that christine and last but not least is jonathan and jonathan's happy thanksgiving turkey i love the character design on this it's super super good i love all the the wrinkles also once again uh, not using, you know, super hard black lines, using this brown outline, I think works really, really well. And the way that the shadows are tied in, I think it's really, really cool. The one thing that I would kind of uh, suggest kind of looking at on this one is the, the drop shadow on here. I like having the drop shadow on there, but when you pull back, it's just super, super dark. And since you're using the brown outlines here and not a black outline, when you get further back, it's really hard to tell if it is a drop shadow or if you just have super heavy shadows here on the side. Once you get in here and you can kind of tell it's a drop shadow, uh, you know, it looks better, but having it more readable from further away would probably be key to making the stand out a little bit. So with that, if you had actually, you know, set this on a separate layer, to fix that, I would just drop the opacity of that down just so it has a little bit more see-through quality to where you can see the background through it. I think that would solve that problem. And then as far as the background goes, I like the background. Once again, a lot of kind of energy and motion using all the different leaves. However, I think it's a little too close once you pull out to the actual color of the turkey. So the turkey kind of gets lost in there. I wouldn't change the colors. Once again, if you have a white background on here uh, and then lay this leaf background on top, just drop the opacity of that leaf background. Obviously, once again, uh, like I talked about with Don's, I can't go in and do this stuff on separate layers because this is just a flat image, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I can just erase here kind of a little bit with an airbrush to kind of give you an idea. And this is gonna basically achieve the same effect as dropping the opacity. So if you see just lightening this up here, it's gonna make the turkey pop a lot more from that background. That might be a little bit too light, but it kind of gives you the idea. It makes the turkey stand out. It doesn't kind of let it fade into that background. I think that might make it pop out just a little bit more, make it a little bit stronger of a design. But thanks so much, Jonathan. Great design and submission for this week. And that is it for Thanksgiving. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. As always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you liked today's video too, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the bell for notifications so you can get alerted when I post new videos. And like I told you at the beginning of the video, if you guys are new to the channel, want to possibly see your artwork featured in one of these upcoming videos and become YouTube famous, uh, here's how you do it. Basically, I film these videos on Wednesdays, and at the end of the video, I give you a new weekly word prompt for that week. Uh, and then you've got until the next Tuesday to submit your design over on Facebook based on that word. I created a group over there where you submit the designs it's called Keep Creating a Learn, Draw, Share Art Community, which I will link in the description below. Uh, but you have that full week to do the designs and then I'll pick a handful out and do one of these videos on it. So I want to see what you guys come up with. Uh, like I said, last week's word was Thanksgiving. That's what we just watched the video on. So now for this week, uh, it's all anybody's been talking about for the past couple of days, constantly in the news, constantly on social media popping up. And I'm a huge fan and it's been my life for the past two days. Disney Plus just came out and it is so fantastic. Such a great service. So much content on there. The original stuff is really cool too and I'm loving it. So I want to know, what's your favorite Disney character? That is the word prompt for this week. So let's see what you guys can do. Submit it over on Facebook and we'll do a video next week showing off all your wonderful Disney creations. So if you have Disney Plus, what are you guys watching? I want to know. Comment down below. Me personally, of course, The Mandalorian because that's what everybody's been watching. I think that's what everybody got Disney Plus for. Uh, but also a really hidden gem. I've never seen it before. A documentary called Frank and Ollie that was all about two of the OG Disney animators. Definitely check that out. 
out if you've got Disney Plus and you're into art because it was really, really cool to watch. So let me know what you guys are watching down in the comments. As for me, I can be found online, bjdell.com, as well as on Instagram and Twitter at bjdell. So until next time, keep creating.